Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I had a request with my slide rule videos to do some practice problems. So let's go ahead and do the Texas Slide Rule Championship Test from 1959. Let me show you how we're going to go ahead and do this. First of all, down in the left corner, we're going to have the five test questions that we're going to address today. Next to it, we're going to have my notes on how to solve these problems. And then finally, up top, we're going to have a working Picket N3 slide rule. And there's a link to this slide rule in the description of the video. Now, to move the slide rule back and forth, just go ahead and put your cursor on one of the stators and move it back and forth like so. To move the slide itself, put your cursor on the slide, hold down the left mouse button, and move the, move the slide back and forth. And then finally, to move the cursor, the same procedure as the slide except put your mouse right on this on the cursor itself and just move it back and forth so let's go ahead and tackle this first one right here what we have is 3.8 times 0.0127 so let's rewrite this real quick in scientific notation that's 3.84 times 10 to the 0 times 1.27 times 10 to the negative 2 so we would anticipate that our answer will be a 10 to the negative 2 because 0 plus negative 2 equals negative 2. Now let's go ahead and do it on the slide rule. Now since we happen to be over in this side of the slide rule, what we'll do is we'll start off with 1.27. So there is 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 1.25, 1 1.27 is about right there. We'll bring our index directly over our hairline and then we're going to come out to 3.84 on the C scale so let's go see what that looks like so here is 3.5 3.6 7 8 and then two little increments forward right there and then we read straight down so what we have here is 4.5 6 7 8 8 5 and then it's about halfway between 8, 5, and 9. So we'll call that 8, 7, 5, or 4.88. 4 4.88 4 times 10 to the negative 2. And that is the correct answer. Now let's go on to the next one. Now here we have 6.32 times 10 to the 1 times 7.37 times 10 to the 0. So our initial thought would be 1 plus 0, our answer is going to be 10 to the 1. But look at the numbers, the character here. So we have 6 times 7, that's going to be 42. And 42 times 10 to the 1 is not scientific notation. We have to make it 4.2 times 10 to the 2. So our answer is going to be 10 to the 2. Let's go ahead and do it. So we're back up to our slide rule. Now we happen to be out around 6 so we can go ahead and start that so let's go over here to 6.32 on the D scale so there's 6 1 2 3 and then we're gonna go a little bit more to 3 2 now what index do we use well we've got an index here that we can use and we'll go ahead and do that first because it's nearby so we'll line that up to the index like so, and then multiply, then move our cursor to 7.37. So there's 7, 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, and then again, probably about halfway between 7.35 and 7.40. And then we read straight down 4.56 and about 6. So our answer will be 4.66 times 10 to the 2. Notice how close we are to our just rough estimate that we did at the start of the problem. Well this is fun, let's go ahead and go on to the next one. Okay so what's our next one? 91.7, well that's 9.17 times 10 to the 1 times 3.16 times 10 to the negative 1. So our initial first look is 1 plus a minus 1 it will be 10 to the 0 however 
9 times 3 is 27. So we're going to end up with an answer in the vicinity of 2.7 times 10 to the 1. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, where are we on the scale? Well, let's see now. Let's do this one a little bit differently. Let's go over here to 3.16. Well, there's pi, one increment past pi. Now, what index to use? We could easily use this one, but let's use a different one this time. Let's use the one up here on the C folded scale. Just to show how we do it. And there it is right there. So we have our hairline directly over that index. And what are we going to multiply it by? 9.17. Well, there's 9 right there. There's 9, 1, 9, 5, and a little bit more. Well, let's move the whole thing over so we can see it a little better. So here's 2, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it's actually right at 9. So our answer will be 2.9 times 10 to the 1 equals 29, right? Well, let's do this next one. Number 4 looks a little more challenging. We have 8.17 times what? 10 to the negative 2. And we're multiplying it by 3.26 times 10 to the negative 1. So our initial thought on the answer would be it's going to be 10 to the negative 3. Negative 2 plus negative 1 equals negative 3. However, once again, 8 times 3 is 24. That's 2.4 times 10 to the 1. So we're going to rewrite that as 2.4 times 10 to the negative 2 because we had to add 1 back. We had to add 1 right there. So let's go ahead and do this on the slide rule. We're right around 3 right now, so let's just go right over to 326. So there's 320, 2, that's 4, that's 6 right there. Next, what are we going to multiply it by? 8. Well, that's way out here. I think, once again, this would be a great case to use a folded scale. So we'll come up here to the index at the folded scale, and we'll multiply it by 817. So there's 8, 81, 815, and then a little bit more to 817 right there. And then let's read straight down. What do we get? So what do we have here? We have 2.6. 6, and then three little increments, so it's 2.66 times 10 to the negative 2. Okay, so the last one is going to be 4.37 times 10 to the 1 times 3.31 times 10 to the 2. So our initial answer, 10 to the 3. 1 plus 2 equals 3. However, 4 times 3 is 12. So we're going to end up with 1.2 times 10 to the 4. Now let's go ahead and do it. All right, we don't really have any advantage to go anywhere that we need to go. So let's just go ahead and start right off at 4.37. There's 4, 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, and about 3, 7 right there. Now we want to multiply that by 3.31. Now, we can go ahead and just move it right here, you know, roughly about right there, and that'll give us our answer, but let's do it a little bit differently this time. Let's go ahead and use the red CI scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide it by 1 over 3.31. So here is 1 over 3. There's 1 over 3, 2, 3, and 1. So right there. Now let's go ahead and look at the index. What do we have here? We've got 1.45, and it's almost exactly 1.45. So our answer will be 1.45 times 10 to the negative 4. Or excuse me, 10 to the positive 4, my, my bad. Sorry about that. And that is indeed the answer. Now in our next episode, we'll start doing some combined calculations. So for example, we'll have two numbers that we'll multiply together like we did here, and then we'll divide the result by a third number. So until then, give me a follow, and I'll see you again soon.